Hello, we're back! Miss Clicks D and D Amnesia, minus unfortunately that lovely lady with the beautiful smile who doesn't seem to move very much. <laughs> Miss Harvey, she's not here this week. Apparently, a, lo a lot of people were actually fooled by that. Like more than one person has said that they uh, it took them a really long time to realize that it was just a still image and not actually a camp beat. <laughs> maybe she so. got bit by the snake and just froze. Yeah, maybe she's paralyzed. She saw Medusa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, uh, I have the snake in my boot, and I'm happily carrying him along and checking on him now and again, and we're just continuing east, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, you're continuing east. Alright, let's pull out some... I'm still also yes. dragging the stick, by the way. I question you about the okay. stick. I'm like, why are you dragging a stick? Because it's super fun. So, you do realize that there is an advantage and a disadvantage to this stick dragging. Well, there's advantages and disadvantages to every choice in life. Yeah, yeah, we all go towards one direction or another, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. we could find our way back with the stick dragging, if we got lost. But, if someone is chasing us, they will be able to trail us with that. Do you think someone's following us? Well, I mean, we have the, the dark-eyed people. That's but wait, I didn't put our name on the line, so it's not like he'll walk up to it and be like, Oh, this line was left by love. Or whatever my name was. Mushroom? No. Truth. I'm Truth now. It was left by Truth. He won't know. Besides, he probably doesn't even know who Truth is. Because who are any of us anyway, other than just collections of molecules that stick together? Molly, what? Molecules. You're weird. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Keep walking. After another four or five hours of walking, the sun begins to set. You find yourself out in the middle of the wilderness, no shelter in sight, um, and it's getting dark. And it gets dark quickly in the forest because once that sun hits the her hits even just slightly down for, from above, uh, the shade from the trees is immense. Maybe we should um, make some shelter or something. That's a great idea. I love making shelter. I look it's around, a... Neil. Do I see anything that I recognize as useful for making shelter or camp? There's an old rotted. Out stump that could fit one person. There's sticks and ferns and big palm fronds all over the place. Um, you guys could erect a crude shelter in in a little bit of time. Yeah, I guess I would do that. Like, yes, I have, I have like a pretty high strength and dexterity. Surely those would be the skills needed to like build something. Surely they would. Surely. I'll put my skills to the test as well. I'll try All to right. collect things for this. I will bless the um, area with a dance. I also ask the snake if he needs anything. Do, do you need any food? Anything special? I don't know anything about snakes. You're so kind to take after me, so. But I am doing quite well on my own. Alright. You are certainly one who cares for others. Is that why you wear such a uniform? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, I don't remember anything, but I feel like things should just be made right by me. Yes. Or maybe I'm just hmm. going off my clothes, really. I... Maybe I thought it was fashionable. Maybe I like the Japanese Lolita style. I am not familiar with your foreign styles of clothing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's trendy somewhere else in this world. Maybe people Perhaps. use it for... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, give me... Shelter um, check. Somebody give me an intelligence check and somebody else give me a strength check. I will give you a strength check. One second, find roll twenty. There it is. Go on, uh, be the smart one. 
Because my, yeah, my strength is 14, but my intelligence is 11, so I'm going to give you a strength check. Yeah! Wow. Oh, dang. Natural 20. Not natural oh, 20. Chick it, chick it, yeah, natural 20, natural 20. You wanted an intelligence check, too? I do. Um, I'll do that one. Well, between the two of you, you guys erect a pretty solid shelter. It should keep the rain off, it should keep you nice and dry, keep you warm. You managed to to bring in some ferns and then you get some big chunks of bark that you rip off a tree and lay it down on top of this small structure of sticks and you have this little um like a, a short hall very short hall that you can crawl into and the three of you plus your snake friend can sleep there do you guys think we should make a fire or is that a bad thing I, I feel like it might repel some creatures, but it might attract other. Well, how how cold is it? Do we need the fire? Like what? Or um, also, are there creatures that we need to repel? Is that a concern of ours? I feel like it should be. Okay. Okay. Well. Do you think there are creatures we should repel, Slytherin? Slytherus. Slytherus. It's like Severus and Slytherin mashed together. I know, I know. Neil is a huge Harry Potter fan. I don't know if you knew that, but huge. he really, really Such a huge Harry Potter. Harry Potter fan that I liked the sixth movie so much I couldn't get past the first half hour of it because I, I didn't want it to be over. Yep. And as I know, such, I've, I've never gone back to finish more than the first half hour. An amazing Harry Potter fan. Neil has like a Harry Potter tattoo at the end of the too. Yeah. I heard that he actually like calls out for Harry in his sleep. That's what his wife yeah. told me. Yeah, his wife confirmed. Yeah, that's what she told well, me. I think I'm calling out for. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so, I need all of you guys to give me a a d20 roll. Wait, did we establish guarding? Can we can we do a guard? Uh, no. Is it too late? No, go ahead and set okay. your guard if you want. Yeah. So, also, give me a d20 roll. Yes, I will. I want to start guarding. So, are you going to set a guard? Yeah, I want to start guarding, and then I will pick Jess as second guard. And I okay. will... How... How long do you wait to wake up Jess? And how do you know how long it's been? There's no clocks. There's no. Yeah. There's nothing to count the time by. I guess once I feel really sleepy. All right. So you, for... you wait and wait and wait and wait until you feel really sleepy. Let me roll it. Um... Like if the sun starts coming up, I'm done. I'm not staying the whole night up. That's not happening. Okay. After some amount of time, you get really, really sleepy, and you go wake up. What? Yeah. I wake you up. And After then some I amount of time, you. Yeah. Oh wait, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jen, you rolled the 17. No. So during your watch, during your bit of time. I think especially. Uh, please give me a perception check. Yeah, I just want to make sure. What do you, what do you give me? That I especially look out for the snake sneaking out of the booth because I'm a little bit nervous about what he's doing and who he is. Well, it's nighttime in a forest. It's like pitch black. Can't yeah. actually without a fire, you can't see anything. Okay, so you're just hanging out there when you hear a cry coming from truth or love or mushroom. Uh, mm -hmm. Mushroom, Truth, Love, Dancer, whatever your name is, you wake up with a scream and a searing pain in your right arm. <gasps> he bit me! David, I knew we should have made fire. Why didn't we make fire? This is the snake on my arm? No, uh, you can't see it, but you can hear it, and it sounds like it's moving a lot within the cabin, within your little hut. Uh, Jess, you wake up as well. So it's not the snake that bit her? 
do, hold on, what I, what weapons do I have? Let's mm -hmm. see, all right. I wake up because she's screaming. I whip out my dagger. I have a silver dagger, apparently. And mm -hmm. I, how, how closely am I sleeping? How, like, what's the arrangement here? You're all pretty close to one another. Okay. Like you, you built a structure, but it's a pretty small structure. Okay. So you're all nestled up really cozy. Okay. So I keep my dagger in one hand, and I kind of, like, reach my hand out, and I, I sort of try to smack into a mushroom and see what's, you know, what's got her, what's going on. Because I can't see, right? Presumably it's pretty dark. It's really dark. Mushroom, okay. what are you doing? I am... Well, like, when I felt the pain, I tried to grab for whatever was, like, near my arm, but you said I couldn't, there was nothing there. Give me an attack roll. Give me a roll to hit at minus four for being in pitch black. So, like, a melee attack? Yeah, like a me melee attack at minus four. So that would basically, for me, just be, like, 20 minus four. A d20 minus four. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna suck. Yeah. No. You reach out and your fingers scrape against the side of the wall of the hut. Um, I... Is the... there still a fire outside? Did we light a fire? There was no fire. Yeah, we like right, we didn't light a fire. Somehow, I don't know why, but it ended there. I think it's because we rolled 20. I will myself as hard as I can to create light. Okay, what is everyone else doing? Just so I know. Um, so there's no nowhere in the forest that looks like there's light coming through, like moonlight or something. No. No. Was was there a tree where we were at? Like, were we next to a tree? Do we know any trees nearby? You're in a hut that you built. Yeah, but was it... There like... are plenty of trees around. I mean, it's a forest. There's trees everywhere. But we must know that there was a couple the, of trees. Yeah, there's a, there's a tree right next to you. Yeah, there's... Okay. there's so I scream out tree. that we should climb on the top of the trees to, like, see each other and be able to help each other. I said, quick, climb on top of the trees so we can see each other and help each other. Okay. Also, what I think I'll need to tidy. What kind of rolls do we need to make to try to climb the tree? We can't even a... see the trees. Uh -oh. How can we climb we can, well, them? Well, I mean, we, we here's my question. Are you were... trying to get out of your structure to leave it intact? Or are you just trying to get out and you'll break through the walls and through the roof to get out? I'm not trying well, to get out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm getting out while trying not to break it because I don't like breaking things. Okay. I'm not going to yes. try to get out yet because... It's, you, you you made it seem as though nothing was actually attacking Anna. She just had a pain in her arm. So, like, because, like, I'm trying we to, like... We could hear it. We could hear it slithering around, he said. We oh, we can hear it. Okay. Oh, then I, I say, Slytherin, is that you? Did you did you bite her? Tell us the truth, Slytherin. Does he say anything? There's this... There's no vocal confirmation, but there is the growing sound of uh, something lashing about, and you start feeling something jostling into you near the near your shoulder, and then something starts whapping you in the head, which is towards the exit. Uh, but it feels very small and smooth, and kind of flapping about. Me, I'm feeling it. No, uh, Anna. Oh, okay. Well, I'm oh. trying to get up and climb. That's what I'm doing. I, I'm assuming that what I feel is snake-like. Right? Sure. Yeah. I'm trying <laughs> to grab it behind the head and hold it. How big but, you, it's it's, like... but it's the dark. You okay. can't tell. You can't, you can't see where its head is and where its tail well, is, right? Well, it's touching me. So I'm going to grab it. And then we're... Like, you know in... Uh, what is it? Jungle Book? Where he ties Ka in a knot in a bow? Oh, that's we're... right. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. And my, Do dogs, my dogs are really okay, So you're reaching around for the snake to, to grab it. Jen's trying to crawl out the front. Jen, you put your hand on somebody's belly, but it feels weird. It feels like uh, someone's belly 
without a shirt on. Like they're they're like they're not wearing clothes, and it's weird because everyone here is wearing clothes, what? unless someone took clothes off in the night and they didn't tell you, but you were watching the whole time. Oh yeah, Victoria sleeps naked. Really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I put my hands on it. I'm like, who is that? But I kind of remove my hand immediately and keep going for the trees. Who is this? There's a, a bashing and clashing noise. Anna, you get your hand on part of the snake, and as you're running it down the end, all of a sudden the snake grows and grows, and before you know it, your hand is on a person's knee. What? I yelled, um, Slytherus, you're a person! The structure around you starts to weaken, but it does not collapse. You <laughs> built your structure far too well. It doesn't break. Because um, we literally built a fortress. In what, yeah, in what very little starlight or moonlight filters down through it just you notice the entrance gets darker you can't make out any details but now absolutely no light comes in and then the figure or whatever it is that was blocking it is gone and you hear the sound of foot uh feet beating on the ground can i try to catch that person disappearing into the forest yeah sure. can we so chase? You, you put your hand on you pulled your hand back yeah. it got out you hear it running get up and you try and chase after it but yeah. it is dark as shit give me a perception I'm check to, like dive for it and try to catch the feet if i if i hear that it's something that awesome like, give, like i'm going for it give me a perception check also neil since i was like trying to grab it can i roll for like a trying to trip it up before it leaves kind of thing sure give me an opposed strength check anna mm. nice. which won't be good but that's fine Great. No dice, Jenna. No dice. I know. Today I'm not doing too well. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> uh, you grabbed hold of it, but it yanked its way out uh, out of your grasp. Okay. Uh, Can I so, try to chase it by sound, even though I missed my roll? Yeah, you start chasing it by sound. Um, but you pretty quickly hit a rock, stub your toe, keep going. Uh, run through a bush, then all of a sudden you're like running down a hill. Give me a dex check. It's uh, it's hard to chase it by sound through the forest. Ooh, Evan's and making a good point, Neil, that I was technically engaged in melee combat and it turned and fled, so I got an attack of opportunity. Maybe. No. Oh, okay. No. I was trying. I was trying. No. No. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> You would have need, you would have needed a weapon in your hand to do that. Oh. You also would not have you also would have to have been like in control of the situation enough that you could see it moving away from you. If you can't see it moving away from you, you can't get the attack of opportunity. The attack of opportunity occurs when an unexpected opening is presented to you. Get and wrecked, you can't Evan. see shit and you like, "Oh I my god, it. what the fuck? That snake's a person." <laughs> okay, okay. Bad Evan. Bad Evan. <laughs> Trying to get the players to win. Um so Jen, yeah, you tumble down this hill, you catch yourself so you don't fall or scrape yourself or anything, and you stop and you listen and you hear the sounds, but now it's off to your right and you thought it was in front of you, and you move again and you keep chasing after it, but it's it's gone. It cannot be found. Darn you, Slytherin! Why did you lie to us? And bite her. It's mean. Um, but there's something else you notice while you're out here, Jen. What? The sound of, of a drum. Not like a, a big, deep drum, but like one of those little, tiny, like, marching drums. Does it sound from the direction that the thing just came, like, left to? Or is it another direction? You can't even tell. It, you just hear the sound of a drum. Does it seem like an alert it, drum? You can't tell if it's coming from one direction. or it's. There's no strong direction from which it comes. Does it seem like an alert drum or a music? drum because i feel like those are two very distinct types. music okay, yeah so this is definitely like a music drum. rhythm okay i wouldn't call it a party drum but it, it's a drum <laughs> it's more of like a, a marching drum almost marching drum. i'm back in the hut still so i try to find mm -hmm. some moonlight and i try to examine my arm where it was conceivably bitten okay you have to leave the hut Find, try and find uh, okay some i do that okay you head out there looking around for a shaft of light that comes to the trees but 
it seems it's either a cloudy night or the moon is not up or full. Um, you can't f get a direct sight on what you're on your wound, but you do you can feel around it, and you do feel two little poles and blood oozing out. You have taken one point of damage. I put my own hand on my arm, and I say, "The power of self love can heal me <laughs> if I believe." I believe in the beauty and power and love of the universe. Self be healed! Does it work? You shouldn't self heal in public. Um, and <laughs> no, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything? Who am I? What am I, Neil? This just reminds me of my other misclicks DD character that I made that really believed in the power of self love. <laughs> I have to do a nod to that. Yeah, shout out to Nimmergeist. If you haven't seen Jen's character who was obsessed with self-love, go check that one out. Self-love. Neil, if I'm not a cleric, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to find the girls back Who there. are you? What are you? <laughs> I don't know. So I tried to get back to the girls. I imagine they're still making noise. And if they're not, I'm like, girls, where were you? And I tried to go backtrack from where I ran. Can I find them? Yeah. Oh, you start cr uh, sh shouting out. You other the other well, ones of you. I, you wait, hear wait, her wait. shouting first, out. Do you call to her? First, yeah. I try to detect noise. Of <laughs> Whatever you said, you start ca calling for them. No, you no, start no. calling call for them. You start calling, and then you're like, "Hold on, wait a minute. Maybe I should detect noise first. <laughs> so you stop calling and try and detect noise. Yeah, I do that. I go get. Uh, you do not hear anything. Then I I, I I tried to backtrack from where I was, and I'm like, girls, girls. If I hear her, I I shout back. Well, you heard her shout loudly once, and then it got silent. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? I feel about one fifth bad and about four fifths good <laughs> good way to see the cup full because <laughs> you know as if I had some sort of unit to measure my health by it would be <laughs> like I had one of those units depleted I get you girl yeah um do you want me to try to pet you wait a minute I heard some drums over there that's awesome. Maybe we can party after I try to stop my arm from oozing. Okay, I'll try to patch you up. Let me try to gather some resources for us. So, Neil, I'll look for herbs. I don't care, like, with my bare hands. That I feel would be good for her wound. So, like, I'm, I'm going all herbalism on you. As well as... I try to fix her You up. do not have a proficiency in herbalism. Nor you have medicine. no idea. I just try to use my intelligence to, to patch, patch me up. up. No, I can't make her feel better by patching her up, nor using you. Her you start grabbing the first plant you feel, and then you start grabbing this other thing. You get a rock, and you start mashing them together, and you're like, you know what? I honestly don't know what I'm doing. These could be anything. Okay. I and even if I got a paste out of this, I wouldn't even. Do I give it to her to eat? Do I stick it on her wound? <laughs> what do I do? Do I smear it all over her face? All right. I don't feel like I got a proficiency in this, guys. I just try to use intelligence to, like, bandage it. Yeah, that's not a problem. You, you bandage the wound with what little bits of rags and pieces you have. Maybe you Jess, what are you doing during all this? Or really? um, when, uh, when Anna's character ran outside, I ran outside as well. Um, do I have... I have nothing that would help her. I, um, when I hear Jen shouting, can I, like, run toward her and see, like, if she's alright and everything? Because I can't really, I can't patch Anna. Uh, yeah. I don't have, presumably, any sort of, like, medical skill. Well, you didn't What's try. your dexterity? Oh my god, dexterity is 15. Okay. So you, you start running in the direction that you hear Jen's voice, and you manage to make it to her without stumbling or tripping or anything. And the two of you bump into each other. Um, and the party's basically reunited. 
Okay. Uh, Jess, from where you are, you can also hear this drum and it's kind of a Should we go investigate the drums? I feel like this might be a menace. It's very ominous. I hear those drums and I'm a little bit inclined to stay away and not investigate their source. I mean, there are only three of us right now and lots of freaky stuff is going on. Should we really be like looking for this right now or... Maybe they can help us. Does anyone who's ever has has anyone who has ever drummed like that been able to help you out? They mean war. That sounds like that sounds, that sounds like, like someone... a party drum to me. What did it sound like again, Neil? That sounds like a party drum to you. What the <laughs> what kind of parties do you have? <laughs> Sounds like war drums to me. Canadian parties. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I should just keep a lookout towards that direction. Maybe, oh. I'm going to hide in shadows in a bush. And I'm going to be a little bit away from you guys towards the drums. And... Can we we don't actually see shit. We should do a decoy fire. That's what we should do. Well, first of all, which direction are the drums coming from? And do we can we tell about how far away the drumming is? If you guys were headed east, the drums were roughly south. Okay. Roughly. I mean, it could be southeast. It could be southwest. It could be east by southeast. It's generally just south of the camp. All right, well, it just depends on how you guys feel about having an adventure, because we could just ignore the drums and keep heading east, and everything will probably be fine, or we could investigate the source of the drumming, potentially die, but also definitely have a story to tell if we live. I'm not there, right? I'm still at the No, hut. you're all here. Oh. I mean, you're all, like, near the hut. You can all We're hear each other. generally, like, have this outside the hut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just sitting there... Like, kind of oming, like, oh, um, because I feel really sad that my friend betrayed me and then left. I'm trying to make sense of the universe, so I've been being very quiet. Oh. I feel like making a mm. fire. I feel like making a fire away from our little hut so that it's a decoy and people investigate and we see them there. Hmm. Do you do it? Yes. That's not a bad idea. So are you saying we like build a fire and then we like away from our and stuff. and go like climb a tree and kind of watch just, to see who comes to investigate the fire? Yeah. So I want to build it right. away from our shelter. I don't really care where I'm headed at. I'll just start making a fire like you know, a couple of meters away like if anything, maybe we'll make it like kind of to the west of where we were. Yeah, sure. So that if this goes bad, you know, we can just keep going east and flee. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the fire west, and then I will perch myself a little bit away, and I try to see from the trees while being hidden. And I recommend we all hide. Okay. Um, so I tried to make a fire. I don't know if I have a proficiency or not. Maybe this is my first skill that we discovered. <laughs> That's cleaning shit. Jen, I need you to... Where's my player's handbook hiding? Actually, is this about time for our second break? There we go. While you look for that, Neil? Did we already take our second break? Did we? If we didn't take our second break, then this is time for our second break. But I thought we already did that. No, you're just having so much fun that time flew by. Then let's take our second break. This is perfect. So guys, we will be just three minutes and we will be right back. Stay tuned. I recommend there's a really shiny, beautiful purple follow button uh, that I heard you will actually become richer if you click it. Um, but if you're already there's also a purple subscribe button. If you're already rich, even richer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if you're already rich and you don't need to become richer and instead want to help support misclicks, then the subscribe button is for you. And there are lots of fun emotes. I'll show you them uh, in the chat right here briefly soon. So uh, we'll be right back guys. See you soon. Bye.